you're probably here because you're wondering what in the world are my minerals worth? I got this offer. I don't know if it's good or not. I'm wanting to sell, but I have no idea what to sell it for. We're here to answer some of those questions and to provide guidance as to what the next step might be, just to give you some knowledge on decisions. So I'm going to walk you through the basics of how you would do that using our website. So the first thing I would do is you don't have to spend any money to do this first step. Create a free account. And then once you are logged in, that's going to allow you to save the property. And that's just going to save you some time in the future. So find your state that you're in. We'll just say Oklahoma. So sometimes you have an offer, a lease, a deed, whatever you have to try to find where your property is. Use those as hints to try to find on the map where we were talking about. And at this point, we don't need to get exact. It's obvious best to get exact, but let's just try to get close enough for now. Uh, let's say that you know it, the, the ownership is in Canadian County. You can use this left drop down to say Canadian County and it will zoom you into the map on Canadian County. So just here, if you don't know where else it is, where it is in Canadian County, you just know that it's in Canadian County somewhere. Maybe you're getting paid on a well in Canadian County and you just know it's somewhere in there. You can use this heat map here to get a feel for what we're talking about per acre. So most of Canadian County is orange and red. And if we look down on this market value per acre, Orange and red is between $500 per acre and $10,000 per acre. So if you own 0 0.001 net acres, you can use that to judge if, it, if this is worth pursuing or not. Or conversely, if you own 640 net acres, as in you own the entire section and nobody else owns it with you somehow, that's rare. I'm just saying if you think you own all of one section, that's rare um, that you're not sharing the interest with another party, like a cousin or a sister or a brother or something. But if you own 640 acres, that could be a lot of money. So this is just to help guide you on, is it worth pursuing? Is it not? We happen to pick a high value county, but maybe maybe you're over here in Northeast Oklahoma and you see most of this is green and green is under $50 per acre. If you own three acres in this county where it's green, you know, it, it might not even be worth getting a pecan estimate, which is only $39 because that's that might be most of your income at that point. Yeah, just sell it to whoever wants to get it at that point. This will just give you a feel for free without having to do anything on what the next step might be. So we'll go back to our Canadian County example. If you know the township and range and section, that's that's the easiest thing to do. But we'll, we'll say that you're only getting paid on a well and... There's usually a Smith well in every single county. Let's search. You have to hit enter to start searching or hit the search button. It'll search for all the wells in that county with that name. Aha, I knew there was, there's always a Smith well, if not 18 different Smith wells. So it might take a little bit to like poke through and find if you have a very common name like this. But if you have a name like the Smith 19-1 on your pay statement, it's probably this well. So you can click on it, it will zoom right to that well. So this is a vertical well, it's this little green dot, it's gonna center on that well. And so you know that this this is the well here, but if we zoom out, um, this is what's going on around there. If you're getting paid on one well like that, you're probably getting paid on similar wells. What you can do is if you don't know where your acreage is, uh, just assume that you own something in this area. And I just selected the entire section. You don't have to get cute with how precise you're getting with it. The more precise, the better. But again, we're getting general feels for what things are worth. So then next step is to add it to your properties. Say this is the Smith well area. Right now we just have mineral interest, but we'll be adding other types of interest soon. If you know what your lease rate is, you can put it in here. If you don't, you can just leave it at 12 and percent and go from there. If you know how many acres, you can put it in here. If you don't know it, you can leave it at one and we'll move forward this way. Hit save and that is added to your portfolio. By default, when you add it, it's listed as just the interest itself and you can click to unlock or you can see more information by going to that well. So the value of the pecan estimate and the activity indicators and the well estimates are all things that are included in the $39 pecan estimate. For free, you can manage the property though. So if you need to edit the details, click edit and you can edit any of these things. You can add notes, change the royalty rate, change the net acres. We have, this is the simple form. You can see the more advanced form in display all. So if you know more about the property and you want to include more, that's where you can put it in here. Here, say you have the lease in your hand and you want to put who was the original lessee, what date did that happen, what key terms, etc. And then just hit save when you're done there. And then you'll also see the map, which is what we saw prior. If you need to edit this polygon, you can. You can click edit and move things around from there. Just uh, click it until it turns yellow and then you can click and drag or you can drag the corners around like so. 
When you hit save, things will auto calculate based on the new polygon rather than the old polygon. If the things you know makes you interested to know a little more about it, say that you want to get that Zillow's estimate version level of detail, like what is the pecan estimate? This is what an engineer would say is the estimated market value if you were to have a fair valuation done. This is probably not going to line up with what your offers in the mail are getting because typically I see 25 to 50% of value being offered in those mailer offers. They're trying to see who's gonna bite. This will probably be much higher than whatever you're getting in the mail. But this will give you a feel for why and what, what range is appropriate, what's a good offer, what's a bad offer, or the things to investigate a little further. We'll hit subscribe. The pecan estimate monthly is probably what you're looking at, but if you're looking to sell and you have a very complex area, the full analysis might give you more detail to go off of. It gives you a little more pages on the sales estimate, the leasing, the individual well values, what reservoirs are being included and what risk profiles are being included on each reservoir. But for now, we'll look at just the pecan estimate. By default, it will renew. And so we're gonna subscribe. It's gonna get you 30 days for the $39.99. But if you don't want it to renew, you just click cancel. That's not going to get rid of your current month. It will just make it to where it doesn't renew. So once you purchase the pecan estimate, just wait about two minutes. There's a lot of calculations happening in the background. It's taking your unique property and inputs and using our underlying model to calculate what the value is based on those unique things. So just give it a minute or two. All right. So now it's calculated. I've just hit refresh on this page to get that value estimate to update. This is looking at one net acre at least at 12.5% is worth $960. Because we did one net acre at 12.5%, that kind of normalizes it to dollar per net royalty acre. Some of y'all's offers might be have a dollar per net royalty acre number listed, like, hey, we'll, we're willing to purchase your interest for X amount per net royalty acre. That is what we have it at right now. One net acre leased at 12.5% is a net royalty acre. So this is not saying all of your interest is worth 960. It's just saying one acre of it is worth $960. This range gives you a feel for how much uncertainty there is around that value. There's things that can make it worth more or less that if you were to dig into it further, maybe how the wells are exactly being developed in this area that is unique to this particular acreage. But this is the general range to expect. The Monthly revenue range can be helpful if you are or are not receiving royalties. You can see how much you should be receiving approximately and see if your ballpark is close to that ballpark. And then if you are not leased, you can see what lease bonus range you should be in if you were to lease at 25% because that's the recommended, that's my recommended drive for a 25% lease royalty if you're going to sign a lease and then work it down from there. A lot of times when you get offers in the mail, it's because there's some type of activity on or around your acreage. Right now we just have activity on your acreage activity nearby is coming next, but you'll see if there's any wells permitted, recently drilled, recently completed. These are things that you won't see as a mineral owner until you're starting to be paid for it. So if this is recent, you might not have received a check or a division order or any knowledge that this is happening. So we wanted to make this available to you to say, hey, hey, there's wells being drilled in this acreage. Don't sell until you know about these wells and you know what they should be worth and make sure that they're being valued. So also based on your polygon and how much you said you owned, again, we just have one acre in there. It'll give you a hint as to what wells you should be getting paid for and the decimal interest you should have on that well. If you are getting paid and you have your decimal interest in hand, you can back into how many net acres you probably have. So real quick, I'm going to show you. I have a more detailed video on this, but for real quick purposes, this is saying if you own one acre, you should be paid this amount here, this 0 0.000308. If you take a calculator and you type in how much you're getting paid on that well, we'll just use a real simple decimal. Say you're getting paid on your revenue statement that says owner's net decimal of 0 0.02 for that exact well that we have listed here. You can take 0 0.02 and divide it by this number here, 0 0.000308, and that's how many net royalty acres you approximately have in this property in order for you to be getting that much on that well. So we're gonna go back up and edit. We're gonna round this to 65. Now that we've calculated that, we're gonna go back up and edit this property details to 65 net acres because we know what we're getting paid on the well. And once we update that, it's gonna go back through and calculate this 
and update the net revenue decimal. And now we're close to what you're getting paid on that, what we said that you're getting paid, the 0 0.02. So that is the easy way that you can take something you're getting paid on, an approximate area, and back into how many net royalty acres you have. This is how the buyers are doing it. This is how they're estimating what they wanna offer you. So you might as well do the same thing. Now you're speaking the same language as they are. If they are wanting to buy your interest in that well, then they're also probably wanting to buy your mineral interest, like the, the stuff around the well, associated with the well, and they should buy it for probably something near this number. And if not near that number, then in this range. So that's, that's the basics of how to use it. I hope this gets you started and let me know if you have any questions, thanks.